are in the potato dimension. I've learned a couple of things since last time. Last time we were on a quest trying to figure out how to break and pick up this stuff. We ended up finding cobblestone, upgrading to a cobblestone pick, only to find out that it uh, still, still doesn't drop. Well guys, I went into creative mode and found out that there is no tool, as far as I can tell, that will actually break that stuff and let us use it. <laughs> the rain is green. That's all right. Yep, that's a little different. That's a little different. And we've got a, a bat potato over here. <laughs> also have found out that there are potato achievements. Now, some of these I've got because I had put some some things in my inventory that I shouldn't have at the beginning of the world. And I, I did throw them out. They were not kept. But uh, yeah, some of these we'll have to get again. But there's a couple of things here, right? So... Um, this one, we had these poisonous potato plants. We're supposed to put them on our head and that will reveal the truth. Whatever that means. I think it ends up talking to us is what I learned in creative mode. So yeah, we, we're going to have to find one of those again, put it on top of our head and listen to what it says. I thought we could go with this one though. It says reheat potatoes too many times. So I figured, you know, we're cooking up some potatoes here. We might as well try to do that. So if we just throw our potatoes back in here. Will that, will that work? It's, no. Okay. That is not it. So yeah, we've got some achievements to figure out here. Looks like we've unlocked some crafting recipes for the expired baked potato bricks. So yeah, that's some poisonous potatoes and some baked potatoes, and then the normal baked potato brick. We've also got this potato eye, which I found out is what will lead us to that boss area that we want to make it to at the end. We've got poisonous potato block. Poisonous potatoes. So these, we're pretty close to being able to make. If we just get a couple more, uh, we just gotta find some sheep and get these great potato peels. I think we can also get these from some, um, some monsters, I don't know. If we were able to get a blaze rod, we would be able to make the poisonous potato hammer, which has knockback 10 and 11 damage, which would be pretty cool. But since we started in the potato dimension, we haven't been able to get any blaze rods. Now I did notice we have a recipe for the frying table, which might help us with some of those achievements, but we only have one iron ingot right now. One, <laughs> one raw iron anyway. Here we've got the potato battery, which might also help us out. Not sure what that's going to do, but it's a thing we could make. I know there's like a potato furnace or something, some other things that we can try to mess around with. So we'll have to figure that out. I did find out in creative mode that you can get creepers to blow up the stone stuff and it will then drop the ores as well as like a cobblestone version of this. So if we could get some creepers over here, we could actually get ourselves some copper ore, which might be handy. For now though, I think our goal should maybe be to try to find a village because that would actually let us leave this place um, because we'd actually be able to find the proper way to make a portal. We cheated to get the portal into here, but a village should let us enter and exit. <gasps> oh guys, we found it. <laughs> I didn't even know. Okay, so we have found a village. So we could interact with some of the villagers here. We can check the chests. So if, oh, poisonous potato oil, I think that might be on one of our achievements, actually. Um, here it is. Refine a potato into potato oil. So I don't know if actually getting this in our inventory gives us that achievement. We did unlock a recipe, though. Okay, so we've still got to refine it. Okay, I'm going to dump some stuff in this chest. I'm also going to try to set our spawn in this bed and hope it doesn't explode on us. Okay, sweet. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> it told me it was too far away. Okay. Well, at least it did not explode. That is good. And we've got a villager. So he wants carrots and wheat for poisonous potatoes, of course. Fantastic trade. What a wonderful trade. Okay. Oh, so we've got, we've got a frying table here. So what if we, like, take this potato out, try to throw potatoes? Okay. <laughs> now, I don't know if those will, like, sit here and, like, actually cook. Hopefully this will give us some of those achievements. Like I said, I did already unlock some of them. So we'll have to be aware of that, but we'll see if those end up like popping off or something. I found a new block, a potato fruit and a potato pedicule. I just chopping some trees and that was in here. Okay, so we've got some potatoes popped off. It looks like it just made us some baked potatoes, which I guess is a good way to 
to get some potatoes. Hopefully it like actually cooked all four of them. Oh no, <laughs> the villagers getting attacked over there. Okay, let's uh, let's see what we got in the way of villagers. Oh, this is it. This is what I was looking for. So, dude, don't kill all my villagers. You guys, you you guys leave my villagers alone. Die, die, die. Ouch. Okay. I don't want to die. I don't know. I don't even know where this guy's shooting me from. There he is. I'm gonna die. Oh, good thing we set our spawn. Yes. Okay. Okay. Spawn did work. Fantastic. Oh, there's an iron golem down there. Sword. Sword. Um. Okay. <laughs> We're making another sword here. I didn't put any wood in here. Fantastic. Okay, so I just saw a witch down here too. I don't know where it went. I don't know where the skeleton went. Here's the witch. I don't know if we'll be able to kill it with a stone sword or not. Okay, okay, we got the witch. I don't know where that skeleton went that was here. We definitely want to see what we can do about killing this iron golem for some iron here. I think that would be... A very good thing. I'm worried I won't be able to actually kill it, but let's try. Oh, okay. There was something on the ground. <laughs> let's hope he's still not angry at us. Let's try this again. He should not be able to reach us now. Fantastic. Okay, how much iron? How much iron? Acquire hardware? Five! Oh my gosh. Oh, what a good friend. What a good friend we had in him. Let's hope these guys spawn more. Like, we might have to actually build ourselves an, an iron farm, to be honest. Let's find out if we can sleep through the night. It looks like we are able to. Now, there's a cow here, which means we might be able to breed up some cows and sheep. Uh, we just gotta figure out if we can actually plant wheat seeds, because we have wheat seeds. Gotta figure out if we can plant them. Here we go, one wheat seed, the potato. Plant the wheat, okay. A seedy place, fantastic. Let's break the potatoes that are right around here so that we can know this is where our wheat seed is and we'll eventually be able to breed these sheeps and whatnot that are around here. Also, I can keep putting potatoes in this frying pan to cook them up. Seems to basically just have the functionality of a campfire, but maybe we can try cooking some other foods in there. It looks like we've got some iron on the wall here. So again, if we can get a creeper to come over here and blow that up for us, then we've got some iron. Oh, there's already wheat here. Let's see if we can lure some sheep and some cows into a little area and get them breeding up. So the sheep are gonna drop those potato peels when we kill them. Okay, we've got some cows and some sheep. I don't know what we're gonna do with them. I feel like the cows can make us some armor potentially. That might be something that's helpful for us. And we've, we've bred them, we've, we've got them bred up. And we'll go ahead and plant all the rest of these wheat seeds. I've got some potato peels. Okay, <laughs> so we could also put potato peels in here and it looks like all of my baked potatoes despawned. I must not have picked them up after killing, getting killed by the iron golem or something. I remember we want one of those poisonous potatoes. I wonder if we can get one of those from this, like the poisonous potato plant that we get to put on our head. Okay, poisonous potato plant, put it on our head. We got the achievement on closer inspection. Whoa, steady on your feet, Starm. Okay, there's a phantom up there. You're probably thinking, what's the deal with this guy? I invite you to take a moment to consider my situation. We've been planning on infiltrating Minecraft for weeks. It seems like he talks every time I jump. But all we can manage is sneaking into this April Fool's snapshot. And now you've discovered us. Do you have any idea how difficult it is to write Java code? It's not as simple as copying samples from the internet. We've got ourselves a grindstone and some furnaces, and this is a blacksmith, so maybe there's a chest with some good stuff? Maybe? <gasps> oh, yes! Fantastic. Also, there's a maze? That's... okay. This is awesome. We had to write tens of lines of code by rolling... oh, whoops. And now that I've finally infiltrated Minecraft, you pranced on over, picked me up, and plopped me on your head. I must say, you have an incredible balance keeping me up here, especially considering you're jumping so much. Why are you jumping? Are you being startled? I don't see much to startle you. Then again, I have no eyes, so really, I'm, I'm not going to see much at all. 
Although little sprouts growing out of me are also called eyes. Okay, I don't know if I want to sit here and read all of this to you guys. It seems like it's just going to be a bunch of garbledy gook. Okay, we've got another witch, which sucks. I just came to see what dropped from our frying pan, and it looks like we've got something different. So what do we got? What do we got? What is this? Inventory's full. Uh-oh. The witch and a villager. Zombie. It's a zombie villager. Okay. This is not good. I think I might want to let myself die. I'm not sure. Maybe we just see if we can get in the building before this witch kills us. That would be that would be a good thing. Yeah? Yeah? And then close the door behind us. Okay, I don't specifically see the hash browns in here, but we'll go ahead and eat them and, and see what it's like. Here we go. Hash browns. Nom, 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 nom. Not great. They're not a great food source. I think we should go ahead and use some of this iron we have to make ourselves a shield. Oh my gosh, no way. So if we kill some of these phantoms and use a poisonous potato, we can actually get the politra, the pol, the politra, the poisonous politra, which from my creative testing works just like an elytra. All right, it is time to go on a search for a creeper to blow up this ore for us. Somewhat unfortunately, there's quite a lot of light in this village and I think the crops are probably also keeping things from spawning. <gasps> there we go, here's one. Hey friend, hey buddy, hi. Hello, how you do? <laughs> Come here, I've got I've got some stuff, some mining I need you to do for me, buddy. Come on, bud. Come on over here, right over here. Come on, come on. And with the shield, we should be able to get him right up next to it. <gasps> okay, he drops some iron for us. Fantastic. Only one. We only got one of them, and there was at least two there, but. We got some iron, and did we get any of the... We got some tater stone, which I think is the only way we're going to be able to get that is by getting creepers to blow up this stuff. We got a horse. There's a horse in the village. All blocked up in a fence nicely for us if we ever get a saddle. Not that a horse will be very good at uh, traveling this terrain here with all of the big, <laughs> big gaps between islands. So I was going to go through this hedge maze here. I did end up at the house on the other end. But, uh, yeah, there's several little hedge mazes here. I don't know if there's anything actually in them. It looks like they end up leading to villager houses. Right, we've got a phantom over here. Let's see if we can take it on so we can get that membrane. If we can get the membrane, we can craft ourselves an elytra, which would be pretty awesome. Let's just watch him. He's going to burn in the sunlight somewhere here and hopefully drop his thing somewhere we can we can get it from. I don't think he dropped it. Well, that's unfortunate, but there is more of them that spawn in this biome. So let's see if we can take on another guy here. This <laughs> They just want to end up flying in the sky and taking damage, so we have to watch them to see where they die. Oh, this guy's he stopped taking damage for some reason. There we go. Ah, uh, nothing. There's more iron here if we could get a creeper. Oh, goodness gracious. This guy just flew in here and attacked us out of nowhere. Come on, friend. And there's another one. And there's the witch. This is not great. <laughs> this witch is gonna try to screw us over here. Oh, and more iron. So yeah, I mean, if we, if we get creepers, it shouldn't be too difficult to actually get some iron. Oh, oh, I had a creeper. I didn't even know he was there, and I let him blow up. Dang it. There we go. Oh, oh, we got one. We got one. Man, the phantom membrane drop rate <laughs> seems very low. <laughs> That's a little odd. Uh, hi, uh, friend. <laughs> What's going on with you? Are you feeling a little purple today? We got some more iron. <laughs> did we just get three from that? I think we did. I spent all night searching for those creepers to help me out with that. Oh no. Oh, we found a dungeon. It's got spiders, name tags. Okay. <laughs> Run away. Run away. See if we get anything else cool in here. Oh, nothing really. But we did get a saddle for our horse. Oh, are you kidding me? He didn't even make a single piece drop. I just, <laughs> I just let him so far over here. 
to not even get a single piece of iron. These witches, man. This one just will not die. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die because I can't kill this witch. Gosh darn it. We just got our fourth one. We just got our fourth one. Oh man, look at that. Poisonous Politra. I realized it's Politra, not Politra. Okay, there we go. I lost my leather boots somewhere. Okay, I've been needing some normal wood, so let's see if we can use our Politra to fly all the way down here and get ourselves some wood. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at the traversal. Oh, man, this is good. This is good. Now, I found out that we can't actually use the stem to, um, to craft to smelt. We can't use the stem to smelt, so I've got to go ahead and chop some of this stuff in order to be able to smelt some, some stuff down. In order to cook our potatoes and also to smelt up that iron we've been harvesting all episode. Okay, I just smelted enough that we can make ourselves a pair of pants. Oh yeah. And if we manage to get ourselves one more piece of iron, we can actually make ourselves some iron boots. Man, I'd never wished for creepers to spawn so much before. <laughs> no! Oh, we had one. And I let him blow up. I don't even know where he came from. I was busy with all those zombies that were coming for us. There's one up there. Okay. We just gotta get rid of all of these things that are after us. There's two creepers. So we just need to get close enough to lure one, not get shot by the skeleton. Okay, okay, we've got one. We've got one, then we can take the other one over to some other, some other iron. Okay, he's coming. Oh, I think we got some. We got three. Oh gosh, fantastic. Oh, only one piece from that. Oh man. Okay, but hopefully he drops some. We should be able to get over there and get that stuff fairly easily. There it is, come on, tell me he dropped two. If he drops two, we can get full iron armor. Oh my gosh, guys, look at that, we got six. That is enough to make us a full suit of iron armor. There it is. Iron boots, iron hat. It has never taken me so long to get full iron armor before. Between that and the new Politra we have, we're pretty kitted, guys. Just one last thing to show you. So this is what I've been talking about over here, by the way. If we go ahead and click on this with a poisonous potato, we've got ourselves a portal, and we're not gonna go through that quite yet because I haven't decided if we're staying in this dimension the entire time, but uh, definitely let me know what you think in the comments down below. Click on that video on screen right now to see episode one. If you missed it, it was an adventure. I can't wait to see you. Bye bye